Welcome to 5MinuteTutorials.com. This uh, tutorial is in Adobe Illustrator CS6, and we'll work in the last, uh, for sure, the last uh, three or four versions of Illustrator back to CS4. Uh, beyond that, uh, I haven't tested that far back, so you can experiment with your version of Illustrator. What we're going to talk today about is the actual artboard tool. Now, when you click the artboard tool, what that means is this is the actual page that you're working on or the actual artboard that you're working on. You get these uh, crop handles around there. Now once you look up here in the preference bar you can you see the preset here is a letter. We have orientation portrait or landscape. You can create a new artboard here so Illustrator does allow you to have multiple pages. Uh, I don't recommend doing too many pages. Um, inside of Illustrator you should switch to InDesign or some other multi-page software if you have a, a huge document that's more than a few pages okay and you've got a few other options here that you can experiment with okay now what I do want you to note is right over here is also your width and your height so you can actually just click and drag to resize this you notice that the width is now being reduced okay what you can do now is there is no OK check or select here you just can go back to any other tool and now that exits out once again, you can also hit the escape key and that'll exit out. Now with that artboard tool, you can also create a new artboard. And now all of a sudden, now you have this new artboard there. You've got to position it. I'm going to go right next to it. And now I have artboard too, so I have two pages now. There is also an artboard palette. If you don't see the palette, look for it under uh, Windows and then Artboards. This shows you artboard 1 and artboard 2 here. This is another way where you can actually click and drag and duplicate your artboards. I'll zoom out here. Now I have a three-page um, artboard. Okay, You can also just double-click here and, and rename these, for example, page three, just like so. Okay, You can rearrange them, move them up, move them down right across here, and there are options available. New artboard, duplicate, delete, delete empty artboards, and then there's also artboard options. Under the artboard options, you can go through and review here. You got quite a few different options available, like show the center, show crosshairs. Okay, you've got a uh, lots of options available here. I'm not going to explain all those, as most of you may or may not use these. Okay, but I just wanted to explain that this is where you can actually go in there and create. Uh, an easy use for this, for example, might be a, a logo letterhead and business card envelope type of thing. You know, you might have your em your business card over here, and one of these might be your envelope size. This could be your letterhead, for example, um, and that's a great way to keep your identity packages all on one Illustrator document, since uh, Illustrator uh, is a vector program, and that's probably one of the strongest programs you can use for identity packages. So that's a little bit about the art tool there. This is 5minutetutorials.com. Hopefully you found this helpful. We always appreciate if you could refer our site to any of your friends or coworkers.